All right, I'm out here in my dirty garage with my barn cat. Um, I'm over here looking at a couple of chainsaws. Uh, one's a Pullen uh, 2150. Those are all over the place. Uh, this other one's a Husqvarna um, 359, I believe. And now I know for sure this 359. Um, I know it has a scored piston and, uh, uh, and a scored cylinder. And this pool one I'm going to look at, uh, I'm not quite sure. I can look through the muffler and it looked okay. Um, when I look through the muffler and you know through the port, but it's behaving like it's um, like it's something's wrong, right? Um, I'll check the compression. But it's pulling erratically, you know, so uh, I guess I'm going to do this. I'll show you a, a pretty neat way to, uh, to look at your piston and, and the cylinder. All right, what I'm doing here, you can see I've already taken off the muffler um, and the top cover here on this Husqvarna. This is a Husqvarna 359. Took everything off, and when you look in here, you can you can see the the piston. It's it's pretty scored. It's unmistakable, actually, pretty bad. But what I'm doing here, I, I hooked up this bore scope. This is a this is a bore scope that I use on uh, when I'm looking at the the rifling on on my barrels uh, on the rifle barrel that is. Uh, so I'm using this bore scope. They they're actually pretty affordable. You just hook it up right to your phone, download an app, and uh, and they come at you know different uh, different specifications and everything. This one this one was fairly cheap. It's uh, I got it because I wanted that small diameter camera so it'll fit down through most of my rifle barrels. Um, but then they come in different specs on the on the focal length and all that good stuff. Um, but what I'm going to do, let me let me make sure this is uh, upright. There we go. So there's upright because you can see it. It can spin around. So I can put this in here, and you can see there. There's the scoring on the piston. I mean, it's it looks pretty bad up close, doesn't it? So. So I can look at it that way, but with this also you can go down the spark plug. I took it off the spark plug hole and you can look at the top of the piston um, and look at the different sides of the cylinder. There's going down the, the sides. They don't look bad, but as I get towards the exhaust end of it, you can see the scoring on the, on the, on the cylinder. All right. That exhaust side was pretty bad. And I'm trying to snake it around so that I can see the, uh, the intake side. Let's see. Maybe I need to... Uh... Okay, the piston's down pretty far. Okay, so there's the inside. So the intake side is not that bad. It's all on the exhaust side. But you can definitely see it there. Yeah, a lot of scoring there. So that's a neat way you can take a look. If, if it's not showing on the when you take the muffler off and you really don't see any scoring, um, you can kind of use one of these to, to snake around in there and see exactly what's going on. Uh, I'm going to do it on this Pull and Pro that I have here. I've had a few of them come in now and then, but I want to get this down there and see if there's any scoring going on. 
I didn't see anything through the through the muffler on this one but you know I don't know I'm just not quite sure yet so I'm gonna do it on this one all right so I took the muffler off this coolant pro and there's my cat again he's uh he's interested in the borescope hey hey uh -uh. All right, so you can see I already took the muffler off uh, and the spark plug, the top cover and the spark plug off so we can see in there. And uh, So there's the piston. The very top of it looks like there's some scoring there. But after that, the piston looks pretty good. down we can take a look at uh, the cylinder walls but so far it's not too bad there's a lot of carbon build up there on both sides and let's take a look down through the spark plug yeah so there's a lot of carbon on top of the on top of your piston and there's a little bit of scoring not bad not not a whole lot and this is on the exhaust side we're looking at going around the cylinder so it's not too bad it looks like there is some there at the exhaust but not that bad and you can see the top of the piston has a lot of uh, carbon build up there so maybe this one just uh, maybe it just needs a piston ring right not a whole replacement like that Husqvarna over there yeah, I'm going to replace the cylinder and the piston on that one but this one I think I'm going to so after looking at that I'm probably going to uh, put it all back together check the compression but I'll probably uh, just replace the piston ring all right, well, there you go. There's a kind of a cool way to check out your cylinder and piston uh, just using a bore scope. It's they range in price from you know it's fifteen to twenty dollars up to thirty or forty dollars depending on the the specs that you want and the quality. Uh, I think I paid under twenty dollars for this one. You just hook it right up to your phone and you can go in there those little tight places and check and see what's going on with your cylinder and your piston, just everything in there. But, uh, but that's it. It's a neat little tool.